Breaking news. An extremely sad day for so many Pittsburghers, many still in shock after hearing about the death of Franco Harris, who clearly left an impact that stretched far beyond the field. While his fame emerged through the Steelers, Franco Harris went on to be a key player for the entire city of Pittsburgh. I saw him a million times a year. He was at every charity event, speaking event. Even if he wasn't the speaker, he would go and lend his support. So he wasn't someone that they just dusted off every once in a while and brought him out to speak somewhere. He was constantly involved. The Pittsburgh Steelers Hall of Famer Franco Harris died last night at age 72, just days before the 50th anniversary of the Immaculate Reception, a play that former WTA eSports anchor and reporter Guy Junker says catapulted the franchise. To that point, Everything always somehow went wrong. After that, it seemed like almost everything somehow went right. Yeah. Making Franco a legend in Pittsburgh sports that also grew a love for the Steel City. His loyalty to the Steelers and to the city, to the charitable organizations, to the Heinz History Center, to all the things he worked for. Making him part of the fabric for the 412 that will now be remembered just days before his number becomes officially retired. Steelers only have one retired number. This was this was a big deal, only the second one. And, uh, you know, the, God works in mysterious ways. Could, could, if he had to go, could have waited a week. Could he have lived through this and enjoyed it? It's just, it, it's sad. So I, I think it, 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 it almost adds more meaning, but it's a, it's a sad meaning. Instead of a big celebration, it's more, I guess, going to be a reflective night, I would imagine. And this Saturday, the Pittsburgh Steelers will face off with the now Las Vegas Raiders, the team Franco Harris helped be with that immaculate reception back in 1972. Reporting from outside of Akershire Stadium, I'm Tori Orgy for Pittsburgh's Action News 4.